yesterday's picking pretty much sucked, so we're gonna try again today. This place really is a hair miss. We found some good stuff, but more often than not, we leave with nothing. What is it? <laughs> you can't figure it out either. I can think of is it for oil, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm curious if the person that tagged this for six ninety nine knew what it was, because I am at a loss. This looks like Max Hint. Is that a signature? I can't tell. It has been busted and glued though, unfortunately. Chipped there too. Bummer. It does say Hint though. H-I-N-D-T. I was correct. It is a Max Hint. Can't help it. I have to look through all the books, even though the reason we came out here was because we are picking up two boxes of books <laughs> that are free. I'm still looking through. You just never know. Too funny. I like Big Bus. And I cannot lie. On to the next. Alright, we're curious. $49.90 on that one. $49.96 on that one. What in the heck, man? That's too much. Old Fisher Price. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's adorable! And again, too much money. Hmm. Alright, moving on. So you guys don't want 10 bucks a piece for these. Alright, it was him hauling around him all of us, but comps look pretty good. It's a butterfly. Like wooden butterfly corner shelf. Of course, Rich points out right there in the corner that it's busted from the uh, little nail. I'm not sure how that would affect value. Oh, it's a freaking rooster. Oh my gosh, I wish the rest of the lamp wasn't so ugly. Dude, I love it. Hmm, maybe not a bust. I found an Orvis jacket. Oh, of course. I don't know how I didn't see that. Darn it. Okay, never, never mind. It might still be a bust. Man, picking lately has just been rough. Not one Stephen King. Thrift stores were kind of bunk. So we seen an estate sale sign. If I remember correctly, I'm not a huge fan of this estate sale company but it is 50% off last hours of the sale, so we'll see. Yeah, see so these marked at 20 a piece. I don't know if that's good or not, but I feel like that's kind of high. Yeah, we super bailed from that estate sale. It definitely was a company I didn't like, so this is our last hope. That one is legit. They want $6.99 for it, so it's gonna stay. Well, this is getting absurd. Absolutely nothing today. Picking is just friggin' terrible. Oh, why don't cookie jars sell better? I absolutely love this. I love it. I wonder who it's made by. Nada. Cookie jars just don't sell well, unfortunately. Cause I love it. God. Oh, it's broken. I'm oh, so bummed it's broken. I love it. Well, hello, little cutie pies. Can't read what that says. Something import, 1953. $7 a piece. Okay, what exactly is going on right now? It's Saturday. We just got back from taking Nelly to the vet again, but I did want to show you the box of books that we went out to uh, get from Rich's cousin yesterday. Obviously, Stephen King. <laughs> there is, I think, another one in here, too. Yeah, Stephen King, Full Dark, No Stars. And I have no idea about either one of those. Um, I did list 
one of these. <laughs> I love this show. I'm actually watching it right now with Rich. Um, I listed one of these and sold it in, like almost immediately for $5 on Facebook Marketplace. So I'll probably list these three as well. I'm going to go through these. I might read a couple of them before they go up for sale. Although I have kind of a pile of books that this one's awesome. I have a pile of books that I want to read, so I don't know when I'm going to get to any of this. Um, I'm currently reading Doom a Key. I do have this up for sale, so hopefully it doesn't sell before I finish it. That's as far as I've gotten so far, but it's only been a couple of days. Uh, a couple of people said that I needed to read it before I sell it, but I had already listed it, so I'm just kind of crossing my fingers that I can get it read before it sells. Supernatural book that I listed and sold right here. I am. I believe this is our only Facebook Marketplace sale too. Five dollars plus the cost of shipping and I have no money into it so I'm okay with it. Sold the M.A. Hadley mug. I ended up taking a twenty dollar offer on this. I only had it listed for twenty four so twenty bucks is actually a pretty good offer. Um, there's no damage. I think I paid a dollar for it at a thrift store. So I did pretty well. It's only been listed for I don't know maybe three weeks ish somewhere in that time frame. And I think this is our last sale. It is a Sega game. I'm pretty sure the game's in there, although I have in the past sold just empty cases. Um, we took a $14 offer on this. Getting ready to go out, and I'm pretty sure that's the last thing for today. Glad that I had this in the house. It's one of the bus bins that I just set up a porch pickup for this cake pan. It's a railway 3D cake pan. We actually garbage picked this with um, like yard sale leftovers that somebody just had out by the curb. Um, yeah, 15 bucks. They're hopefully coming soon. It's Sunday. This is turning into kind of a weekend vlog, which is fine, but Rich just informed me that this never got picked up, which is super annoying. Gotta love Facebook Marketplace. So I'm just gonna bring this back in. It did not get picked up. Okay, we're going to try Marketplace in reverse, and I swear to God, only in Michigan does this happen. On the opposite side of the highway over there, there was a taxidermied huge brown bear on dude's roof with skis attached to his feet. So that, that also just happened. Well, it looks like we are the proud new owners of some speakers. He paid 70 bucks for them. He sells the worth right around 225, so we'll see how that goes. Monday sold, which you guys have all been waiting for. We have three going out on Facebook Marketplace, $5 each. These came out of the box of books I got for free from Rich's cousin. I love this show. I'm actually rewatching it right now with Rich on uh, Netflix. But uh, I really don't feel the need to read the books. So $5 each on Facebook Marketplace, and they sold super freaking fast. I just have to make sure the right book goes to the right person, to the right address. That's going to be fun. Paul's Life Unsolds. Definitely time for a chicky update. Oh, they were just doing, like, chicken zoomies. I got too close. Maybe if I sit still, they'll do chicken zoomies. They're getting their wing feathers in, so they just like practice fly a lot. It's so cute. They're all doing really well. They're getting huge. They eat a ton. They poop a ton. They get cedar. They're not cedar. This is not cedar. Cedar's bad for them. This is pine. They get pine shavings all in their water a lot. More food, but yeah, they are super fun. I can't wait till spring and we get their coop all set up. Oh man, I missed it. I love their little fake flying, it's so freaking cute. Oh, there, there they go, there they go. Oh my gosh, zoomies, chicken zoomies. All animals get the zoomies, is my point. I've got one more book, I think it's this one that sold on eBay. Nope, I lied. Not eBay. It was a Etsy sale. Sold for $25 plus the cost of shipping. I'm telling you, if you guys are out, look through the books. Some of them are worth 
last thing with, although I didn't get this from a thrift store, <laughs> I got this from a lot at an auction, I believe. And it's just not something I'm super interested in keeping, and we're not even really selling furniture anymore because eventually we still plan on moving into the bus. So, 25 plus cost of shipping on Etsy, not eBay. Also an Etsy sale is this vintage pair of golf club bookends that I didn't actually purchase. I got this in a lot of owls that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace, and these were just shoved in the bag. So, uh, not huge money makers. I sold them for $12 plus the cost of shipping, although they are getting shipped to the UK, so shipping is a little pricey on these guys. We're going to pop over to our lone eBay sale, which is this Grundig Vintage Receiver. Uh, Rich got it for free from somebody he knew off of Facebook Marketplace, one of his groups. I don't know. Um, it needs a little bit of work, but it functions. Uh, he sold it for $52 plus the cost of shipping, and this is being shipped FedEx because it's big and it's heavy and it's awkward. So this is the next thing to get boxed up. And last but certainly not least, we need to grab this bowl. And again, I have no idea why I find it so fun to buy such breakable things. But this super thin molded slag glass bowl sold for $25 plus the cost of shipping. I did purchase this from a thrift store, but it is escaping me how much I paid for it. I think three. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, and this has to make it to Switzerland. We have one package going to the United Kingdom, and apparently this is going to Switzerland. Sold on Etsy. This is going to be real fun.